I got a beautiful car here for you. All I want is $7,000. Look at this bitch. $7,000 for this car. But I got a slight D in the back. You give me $7,000, all you got to do another video. So in today's video, we are back on Sakura stands once more. Because today they added a new spec called Sandivistan, which is from that one cyberpunk anime that blew up two years ago. And in this video, I'm going to be obtaining this new spec. Before we get into how we get this spec, I wanted to check out the new Sukuna moves they added, which seems to be a new counter and reverse cursed healing similar to the one Gojo has. But anyway, let's get into how you obtain this spec. And it's pretty simple, really. So first up, you need to fight the Jotaro boss, which spawns every one and a half hour, and after beating the boss, there's a 10% chance it spawns a special loot box. And then when you open the loot box, you have a 20% chance getting one of the four items you need in order to start the quest for the spec. After that, you need to go to this new NPC located near the Toji spawner and get the quest by trading in the four parts. The quest is just dealing, taking and blocking damage. When I initially recorded this video, the spec had just released, and the percent chance for the loot boxes to spawn was actually 0.7% and a 7% chance to get the parts from those boxes. That's why, if you tuned into my live stream, is why I was suffering so damn much. Anyway, I think the first thing we need to do is destroy Jotaro bosses in order to get the drop. By the way, if you're interested, I actually made a guild in Sakura stand named Jim P's Gangstars. If you want to join, just go to the guild NPC and type in the name and password and you can join. Anyway, I won't be waiting an hour just for this guy to spawn, so I decided to spend a couple thousand Robux just spawning him in. And I gotta tell you guys, not only did I suffer from fighting this somewhat hard boss, but my bank account as well. You need to subscribe for this one. If you don't, I might have to send a V-stand to your house. So like I said, I spent about two to 3,000 Robux just to keep spawning Jotaro in, and every time it never dropped the loot box since at that point, it was a 0.7% chance to drop. And honestly, I don't really feel like showing you guys footage of me fighting Jotaro for like two hours straight. If you wanna see that, go check out the live stream that I did. But to summarize what happens, after the buff to the chances, I managed to get two of the items from Jotaro. Then I actually traded for the other two. I think I got really lucky with getting these items at the end, because I heard for HW he used about 40,000 Robux. Anyway, now that we have all the parts, let's talk to the NPC. And he should give us the quest. So it seems we need to deal take block 2700 damage, and then win a normal 1v1. So first up, I'm gonna be stacking two to three dummies together and spam attacking them with standless in order to do the deal damage part. This quest shouldn't take you too long. It's pretty easy in the deal and take damage. Part is light work. All right, I think I should be done with the deal damage part now. Didn't take that long. Next up, I did the block damage part of the quest. And this actually took a decent while since you can only do like 30 damage at a time. I also finished the take damage part here as well, as these dummies do a good amount of damage and it wasn't really that hard to do. But now it's time for me to do one of the harder parts. Win a 1v1 in this game. But it's alright, because I'd win. Oh my. I get to obtain Gojo. Okay, that's it, I'm locking in.
Don't worry, it worked. I know how to fly just fine. I know how to fly just fine. Sandivistan also is like a mini time stop. It stops everything around you and is really good for running or catching up to runners. There's also a beatdown for the spec that they are going to be adding soon. But is this spec worth the amount of grind it takes to get? Well, as of right now, no, but it is pretty fun, I guess.